the 7-2. Well, it's interesting. Tayshawn Prince is guarding Dwayne Wade. Here's Rip Hamilton for the open jumper. Particularly at the, the offensive end. Now, people say, what offense? But we've seen no offense in this series. Game 7. Pressure is having four kids to feed and no job. Back to you, Mark. It kind of puts it into perspective. Here's the alley for for Prince leading Rasheed Wallace. He lost it. And you can see Wade in deliberate fashion moving it across. Shoots the jumper. And score! He just gives him an extra ball handler. Well, that time Wade threw it away. Wallace right there. Here's Phillips. He has Hamilton. Beautiful pass. Posted him up, and he just used his height over Hazard. Wayne Wade, as you say, looking after Yes, and it counts. So Wade successfully posting up, and he will go to the foul line. He was hit by Hamilton. Mark, right, before we went to, to timeout, we were talking. I said the previous possession was the most active I'd seen him on the post. He'd been guarded by Chauncey Billups on the other side of the floor. And Shaq, neither one have rested. Who's coming out first, and how much in, in, in minutes in a row can the other guy play? Hamilton, 4 or 5 to end the quarter, led by Rasheed Wallace, who's hit three in a row. Shot clock at one. Hamilton got it off and scored. Oh, man. Tough shot. Who's going to score now for Miami with Shaq on the bench? Is it this man? He looks like he's a little out of rhythm with that shot right now. And he thought he was fouled. Here comes Hunter putting the speed on. Prince passed out of three. McDice played by Morning. Hamilton spinning his way on Dooling and gets it up. Good ball movement, though, by Detroit. Everybody touching the ball. And Hamilton able to... Well, guys, the original Stevie Wonder actually called several Detroit Pistons players this morning after shoot-around. He talked to Chauncey Billups. He talked with Tayshaun. Rasheed Wallace. Rebounded by O'Neal. Wade with the runner. And fouled. A lot of losses for this franchise. Swallow. I can't imagine 17. On Miami. Will be considered... A fourth foul as Hamilton is it. Hamilton with a wild pass. Here comes Wade. Wade all the way. Prince got a piece of it. It will count. It's a goal tag. Or is it a foul? Apparently a foul is called as Wade hit the floor. John Prince. Well, he made the signature play of the playoff. Jones and Gadotas Haslam came away with it. There's Wade, see moving in very deliberate fashion, trying to back his way on Hamilton, and then hit I don't know if anybody does it better than Detroit. They double up on Wade, goes to the crossover, and scores! Sprained left ankle. Phillips 9.7 assists. Here's Wade, and a foul, reach in. Back as well, though, Wade is playing better now, Marv and he shoots the ball above his head, so it's almost impossible to block. Wade with the hesitation move and gets the roll. He feels sorry for himself, and then he started to get mad. And he said that a combination of anger and endorphins can probably get Dwayne Wade through this game. Mark. Well, here's Wade with the finger roll. Points here in the third. Detroit is led by as many as 10. Pistons now lead by two. Here's Wade taking all the way, and the game is tied at 60. Come on. That's six shot attempts. Got to stay away from that fourth foul down in the post on Prince. I think that's going to be an offensive foul. And it was Wade who was able to draw the fight to play in the third. Hunter hesitated on the shot. Shot clock to three. Here's Hamilton. Yes. And Wallace and Antonio McDice. That means when Shaq comes back in the ballgame, he's got to go wipe his shoes. Wade in the backcourt. Shaquille O'Neal, Udonis Haskell, Eddie Jones. Up front, he has a starting lineup on the floor. Here is Wade Cole for the offensive foul. And Wayne pleading with Dick Pavetta. But it is on Wade, and that goes 10 points in the 10-1 run. Campbell lost it. Eddie Jones on the run. Wade. At no angle, 
And uh, Jones with it stepped out of bounds. So the ball back to Detroit. Normally you would see Dwayne Wade go up with a tremendous amount of power on a play like that. You could see his physical limitations. He had to flip the ball at the basket. Joey Crawford helping him up underneath the basket. That's one of those. By two. O'Neal gives it back. Damon Jones with nowhere to go. He got caught in midair. Leading to this. Phillips with the whip pass. Hamilton scores in the game is tied at 78. Turnovers leading to easy baskets. It's the story of the series for Detroit. You can't give up any easy ones right in here in this fourth period. And if you're Detroit, I think you foul Shaq if he gets the ball down on the block. Wade spinning. Hamilton got a piece of it, and it's a jump ball. Rip Hamilton. And we're making it to be difficult for Wade to get up there with that rib injury. Well, gave it a shot, and on the deflection, it's handled by Prince. So the ball to the floor. Miami does not have any timeouts remaining. Once again, clutch free throws by Phillips. Here comes Wade, 10 seconds remaining. Four-point Detroit lead. Wade fires from downtown. Rebounded by Prince, and the Detroit Pistons are headed back to the NBA Finals. Five-tenths of a second remaining. Rip, it was tied again down the stretch, and once again, you guys executed down the stretch. What happened? Oh, yeah, we just defended. You know, uh, I've been saying it a long time. You know, that's what we do. Wow. That's what, you know, we play hard. You know, when it gets down to them last couple plays, Tonight, we just want to take care of every possession, and we knew every possession count, and we did a great job of that. Wayne Wade got going in the third quarter, had, a, had some big moments, and you guys shut him down after that. What did you do? I mean, it was a challenge. You know, uh, he came out and made tough shots. You know, the one thing I wanted to do is just make him work. If I make him work and kind of tire him, tire him out, pressing the ball, I did my job. Rip, you're going back to the finals, a chance to truly defend your championship. What are your thoughts? Man, I'm, I'm thrilled. You know, it's, it's like a dream come true. You know, coming from where I come from, Coast Hill, Pennsylvania, and now to get an opportunity to play for my second championship at 27, it's a great feeling. Rip, congratulations. We'll celebrate with your yes, teammates. Sir.